What's up guys, I'm Zach and welcome to my video on the new Adidas Basketball Collection for 2023, the new chapter. And with that being said, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, moving into the first piece from the collection. This is the Adidas Basketball t-shirt right here and I've got to say it's been a debate within my mind when throwing this t-shirt on if it is even a t-shirt at this point it's so thick so long so luxurious that I might even consider it to be a blanket at this point it's giving giving me instant Yeezy Gap Balenciaga vibes all round on this garment right here you've got that thick neck collar that rides right up here more of a mock neck finish I might say um, it actually finishes just below my Adam's apple so yes it does come up quite high on this garment the overall fit of this is just absolutely massive from the way it drapes right down to the boxy silhouette to the sleeves finishing just below my elbows i've got to say the piece especially for the price is definitely worth it but when it comes to styling this is something so out of my comfort zone that i'm not exactly sure what i can style it with other than the pieces in this collection. But let's continue on to the video. Let's try on all the pieces and see if we can pull some fits together. This is so exciting to try on definitely and I'm very excited to see what's coming for, forward from Adidas Basketball in the future. Hopefully we get some black pieces out of here. But um, in terms of colorway, I did pick this up in the three colorways. You've got the minty green, the metal gray, which I'm wearing right now, which is fantastic. Definitely my favorite of the bunch. However, I do actually really like the white variation of this t-shirt. Gotta say, I'm not a big white type of guy. I don't like white t-shirts. I think they sort of pale me out or make me look too tan. I can never just get a white fit off. But I gotta say, with the hint of the black Adidas logo throughout this design, I think it looks really good on body. Um, in terms of quality, as I said, super luxurious. It's actually quite thick but soft to the touch, so you're not going to be sweating too much in this garment. Um, I do say too much because it is still going to get very hot in here, especially when you're locked in right at your neck area there. Uh, you've got the rubber logo uh, matted throughout, and it is quite thick of a logo that they've put on this. Um, so definitely premium details throughout this piece. And let's move on to the next one. All right, moving into the second piece, which is basically an extension of the t-shirt I previously just showed you, is the long sleeve variation, which I've got to say, I don't know if this was intentional or not, but they are definitely taking cues from the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collaboration, because I've got to say, when it comes to fit, it's basically identical at this point. So I do want to preface this by saying that all the pieces throughout this collection video are all a size large. And for reference, I am 87 kilos, six foot, and a medium build just for sizing reference but I must say it definitely fits exactly like the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga pieces super oversized baggy drop shoulders boxy fit and I've got to say I'm sort of loving it and I'm not a normally a big fan of long sleeves I actually don't own any long sleeves in my wardrobe this was just purely a pickup for this video for you guys so I hope you guys are enjoying um, but I actually really love this piece I love the matte branding on the front with the Adidas logo which is nice and subtle allowing for that big graphic on the back to pop when people walk around you and they see the big Adidas basketball logo which I think is a fantastic finish for this piece now let's get into some more exciting pieces all right guys moving into the next piece I've got to say this was a shock because of how much I don't actually like this piece and how excited I was previously before this piece arrived I'm just not enjoying this sleeveless cut off tee right here I just think it looks so strange on body especially considering how long it is in the body how oversized it is and then you've just got your little arms sticking out from this side um, I definitely think for some people this piece might actually look really good but for me I'm just not feeling it I just don't think it really suits my style and I actually can't think of any occasion uh, that I would ever be wearing this piece to be honest um, which is unfortunate because I actually am going to be pairing this um, next up with a sleeveless cut off crew neck so I feel like I'm definitely going to feel very similar to how I feel about this piece with the next one but I guess we'll just see with how that goes but of course you've got that big logo on the front for this piece which is um, once again a great look but I think just the fit of this garment the cut um, the styling, I just don't think this piece exactly works how I had wanted and hoped. Um, well, that saying, 
But with that being said, let's move on to the cutoff crew neck. All right, moving into the cutoff crew neck, I've got to say I'm a little shocked because I admittedly sort of like this piece, which is weird considering I don't really like the t-shirt variation, but I think with this cropped nature um, of the crew neck and you've got more of a structured fit all around, especially with the shoulders coming out, it actually gives me Rocky vibes, pumping some iron in the gym, and oddly, yeah, I sort of vibe with this piece. However, I definitely know I'll be sending this back because let's be real, I don't know when I'm ever gonna be wearing this or in my own Rocky film, so it's definitely going back. But I will say that the quality of this from the fit, the cuffing at the bottom due to it being a crew neck, the structure, it definitely adds to this piece being a lot more elevated than I originally thought. And um, especially coming from uh, the t-shirt variation, I was putting this on thinking, man, I'm definitely not keeping this piece. I'm not gonna like it. I hate it. I didn't even want to try it on, to be honest. But in all honesty, it's sort of sick in its own way. Um, very reminiscent of Fear of God pieces with the cutoff style on the side, especially how it comes out and then is cut off. Um, yeah, I sort of like this piece. The only thing I do wish was incorporated on this piece was actually a raw edge on each of the sleeves instead of a uh, folded over and stitched side that's only one little gripe i think it would have looked better a lot a lot better raw edged however once again i think this is actually pretty decent piece for someone who's thinking about it and someone who might actually wear it this is a piece that i would invest in a hundred percent and with that being said let's keep going all right guys moving along i actually had to sit down after trying on this piece and just think about how much i actually really love and enjoy this piece i've got to say i'm actually quite shocked because coming from the last few pieces and uh the way it fit the color i was unsure about keeping some of these pieces um but when it comes to this crew neck and this is the best part because you have to wait it's not just that i'm saying this is a good crew neck because it is a really good crew neck it actually fits perfect from the boxy nature to the where it finishes to the crop styling, to the boxy sleeves, and the way it finishes on the neck, it's not as high, it's not a mock neck. And best of all, I'm not a crew neck guy. I don't like crew necks. I actually don't own a single crew, like crew neck throughout the whole of my collection. So I was so shocked when trying on this piece. I actually love this crew neck and I'll definitely be keeping this in the wardrobe. Once again, you've got the subtle branding on the front for this piece, which I definitely think added to me enjoying this piece a lot more than the big logos on the front. And I think that is a consistent theme throughout this video that you will notice. I actually enjoy the subtle logo on the front and the big logo on the back. And wow, the quality on this piece is fantastic. The fit, the comfort, um, the way it just drapes over the body. It is so soft to the touch as well on note. And just the minute little details that really add and elevate this piece are just these hidden zip pockets on the side. And I've got to admit, I actually put this piece on and I was checking it out in the mirror and I didn't even realize that there were zips on this piece because they are so well concealed on this crew neck. And this is definitely, I would say definitely my favorite uh, so far from all the pickups, which I, for me, it's just so shocking because I don't enjoy crew necks in that sense at all. Um, so I'm excited to move on. Let's see the other piece. <laughs> Moving on guys, it looks like we have another banger. This hoodie is fantastic. And basically it's the exact same details as the crew neck. Uh, well, not basically, it is literally the exact same as the crew neck before. You've got the tonal branding on the front, the rubberized Adidas logo, the big logo on the back for this piece and you've actually got concealed zippers just on the side here, same as the crew neck, and another fantastic piece from this collection. Uh, now I've got to debate whether I like the crew neck or hoodie more, um, but if I'm being true to my nature, I know it's gonna be the hoodie because I just love hoodies in general, and I mean, who doesn't? Hoodies are just so versatile when it comes to styling, when it comes to just throwing on a garment, running up to the shops, hoodies are the go-to wearable product and i've got to say i actually really enjoy the quality on this hood especially not as in the hoodie in general the hoodie's quality is fantastic but the hood itself 
it's got a thick nature to it, which means it sticks up and it's structured, not like those flimsy hoodies that actually just fall back and flop over that have no structure and no actual use as a hood once you throw them up. For this piece, it's definitely another banger, something I will be keeping in my collection for the coming few months, especially once we get into winter. I'll be rocking this on the daily, another fantastic piece from the collection. Back to back to back, I gotta say these last three pieces have been incredible and I've got to stop saying that they're my favourite piece because then I try on another one and that's my favourite piece and then I try on another one which is this track jacket here and now it's become my favourite piece and I think that it can't get better than this because I love the fit of this track jacket. It is super oversized. It feels like it's actually double laid. It's got so much structure, but when it comes to the comfort, it fits so comfortable like some a pair of Adidas track pants, except as a track suit jacket. I honestly haven't felt a track jacket like this be as comfortable as this one is and i've got to say i'm loving the details on this piece of course once again i've said it a million times i am enjoying the lot small tonal branding on the front and the big branding on the back and that's no exception for this piece you've got really high quality zippers on this piece going from the bottom to the top with the adidas branding on the actual zippers themselves and that's those little details that i think make this piece and elevate it just to the higher level once again and you've got two zip pockets on either side and you've actually got quite a lot of room in these pockets and i will say this drapes even further down than the t-shirt i didn't think it was possible these t-shirts drop low but man this track jacket is super oversized but feels super luxury and that definitely brings me to the point that yes i think a lot of people are thinking what i'm thinking and what everyone is assuming is what happening is that adidas is taking a lot of cues from fear of god fear of god's uh design and i know that fear of god is currently working on the fear of god uh athletics collection with adidas and that whole department and division uh but previously adidas was actually using jerry to uh, form the foundation for Adidas basketball in a whole and I feel like this was definitely uh, a collection that was worked on by either his team or himself uh, even if it's so briefly because his cues his elements his style is actually found within all these pieces especially when it comes to the branding and more essentially the fit the quality and the style of these garments these are definitely Jerry Lorenzo-esque pieces uh, but once again, this track jacket is fantastic. And I think I'm going to end it here by saying that this definitely is my favorite piece from the collection. I don't think the uh, shorts or pants are going to top this. They might be really good. Um, I don't hold my word to it, but I think that this is definitely my favorite piece from the collection, uh, which I will definitely clarify at the end of this video. Uh, but that being said, let's get on to throwing on these pants. Just quickly stopping the video, guys. I just want to make sure before we get into the bottoms, if you guys are enjoying the video whatsoever, that you can smash the like button down below. Leave a comment. What is your favorite piece from the collection so far? Or after the video finishes, what was your favorite piece in general? What are you thinking about picking up in the future? It means the world to me to see you guys' feedback, to like the video, to see that you guys are subscribing, especially when I'm putting in all this work to film these videos and purchase these products to show you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing more content from me, Zach, feel free to subscribe as well. That being said, let's get straight back into the video. All right, guys, moving into the last two items of this collection, we are looking at the Adidas basketball track pants, which I think are a fantastic addition, especially if you're looking to style with some of these pieces from the collection. It's definitely a worthwhile investment. I've got to say, in terms of quality, you are getting the same quality as you are getting throughout the collection, which is fantastic, superb, and definitely worth the price of retail admission. Now, I've got to say, I definitely love the fit of these pants. I've got to say, if I was going to rate them out of 1 to 10, it would be an 8.5. They were this close to being a 10. The only thing that drew it back was the fact that it does have quite a bit of a drop crotch on the actual pair of pants. Other than that, I do love that they went with a straight leg finish throughout this track pant. And I've got to say the material, super comfortable, a polyester and cotton blend, which means you're getting the super soft touch of a sweat pant, but also the polyester elasticity and the movement in this pair of track pants is fantastic, which of course, for something you want to be cozy and you want to be able to move in, you want to be able to wear from the beginning of the day to the end. If you're going around the house, if you're going out, 
It's both stylish and comfortable. And that is something that I love with track pants and I think they executed perfectly on this pair. Of course, with the Adidas branding, you've just got that tonal logo on the left side of the pants and you've got the small minute details which include the two hidden zippers on each side of the pocket and you've got that Adidas branding on the zipper once again these small minute details that really elevate the piece from just being a pair of sweatpants to an instant classic to an actual piece in your wardrobe and a fantastic addition to this collection one of my favorites definitely not my favorite the track jacket is staying my favorite guys it's confirmed but definitely a worthwhile addition and one more thing i'm just going to add i love the fact that they made sure that this was a straight leg finish and it just finished towards the end um, and they didn't cuff it or anything like that. I love that they left it loose. It fits perfectly over a pair of shoes and just really gives you that timeless, elevated aesthetic that of course anyone would enjoy and just elevates when you're throwing an outfit together. Before I start mumbling my words, let's move into the last pickup from the collection, which is the pair of shorts. Let's go. All right, guys, getting into the final piece of the collection. These are the Adidas Basketball Shorts, which I've got to say, throwing them on, they are super comfortable. And it is sort of slightly ironic that the whole collection is super droopy, baggy, oversized, boxy, super long silhouettes. And then you throw on these shorts and you just got to look down and you say, wow, they finish quite above the knee. They're quite normal, regular fitting, true to size. and. It's just a bit odd to throw on the shorts and have the whole rest of the collection be super oversized, super baggy. Um, don't get me wrong, I think the shorts fit perfectly. It's just a bit ironic to see the different sort of styling and fit for the last piece from this collection. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the entirety of the Adidas basketball collection. Hopefully, if you guys had an eye on this collection and you've been thinking about picking up the pieces, that this either solidified you getting something or not getting it. And I gotta say, if you are thinking about grabbing a piece, the hoodie, the crew neck, and the track jacket are definitely essential pieces along with the track pants, which I think are super nice if you are in the market for a pair of track pants or slash sweatpants, it's definitely worthwhile the investment. Uh, the t-shirts are great, however, I'm not sure if I can actually wear them out and about with such a large mock neck finish on the collar. Um, I love the actual fit of the t-shirt, the oversized look, the branding, but I just don't think it's really me. But I definitely will be keeping those crew necks, hoodies, the track jacket, and the pants once again. Uh, so you guys, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about the collection, feel free to ask. I'm always, I'm always checking to respond to each and every one of you guys. So definitely like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully guys, I will be seeing you in the next video. I have some great content coming up, so make sure you subscribe. See you guys.